Alaska. I've never witnessed something like that. There's a difference between being respectful of the fans and saying hello to your family, but to be dancing, to be smiling. I mean, the player of the match was that post. You were lucky to not be going home right now. Uh, one of your former teammates, Carly Lloyd, made some headlines with her post-game comments after the scoreless draw against Portugal. Basically, Ali kind of questioning the team's passion, and it all stemmed from a video that surfaces in the immediate aftermath of that game against Portugal, where the Americans are kind of seen to be celebrating making it through to the knockout round. What did you make, not necessarily of Lloyd's comments, mm -hmm. but when you saw that video? I was happy for the team that they are now progressing into the round of 16. Um, you know, this is an important moment. Yeah, they, you know, they, they don't have to be, you know, pouting and crying and upset because they have moved on. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we got we got into the next phase. And I think now they need to forget about these three games and you have to move on to the next because, because it is a must win. So it's okay to give back to the fans who've traveled all over the world to be around uh, this environment, to see the team live in person. So I think that this is a great opportunity for just connecting with the fans, um, appreciating that, and then also being proud to just move into the round of 16, whether that's pretty or not. Mm -hmm. I was baffled by the comments. I'm all for critiquing the players' performances, mm -hmm. their tactical awareness, their positioning. That's what they're there to do is to analyze, their right? You can be ball. negative. But to diminish their commitment and their discipline, their character, that's absolutely ludicrous to me. I mean, these are players who, when they got the call that they were going to the World Cup, they were trembling. Mm. Their phones were shaking. You couldn't even hold the camera straight. I've seen these players fall to pieces about this team, about this dream of going to the World Cup, and then pick themselves back up and put it all together. They tear their bodies apart so that they can get to this stage, get to this level. And then their passion is questioned. Mm. By somebody they know, not a stranger. I don't know, it just made me feel icky. Well, I'd like to state that obviously I was very critical of the team last night. I've had some time to reflect, to sleep on it, and I want people to understand that I care deeply about this team. I poured my heart and soul into this team for 17 years, and it was based off of a legacy that was just passed down from generation to generation. The mentality, the DNA of what makes that team so great. and so. My comments were reflective on me wanting to see that legacy continue to be passed down from generation to generation. And with that, it, it comes with hard work. It comes with focus. And so my hope is that that continues because that is what makes the U.S. so special and so deadly. And that is what ultimately has won us championships.